So in the previous video I showed you how to split and this time I'm going to show you how to put those things back together and the function is called concatenate. So here I have this list. I have first names in one column, last names in another. But this time I actually want to put them together. So this time I'm going to use the concatenate function. Again I'm using the formula bar. If it's not showing, you can use the view menu formula bar. I'm going to type an equal sign and I'm going to start typing the word concatenate. And if you're, you forget how to spell it, you can just come down here and you can pick it from the list. And for a concatenate, the parameters are whatever it is that you want to, to string together here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pick this A1, which is the first name. I'll go in a comma. I'm going to click the last name, which is in B1. And I could keep going and going. I'm going to close this right now. And I'm going to show you that when I put these things together, if I don't put a space in as one of the parameters, it's not going to put in a space for me. So what I want to do is come back in here between A1 and B1, and I actually want to put in a space. Notice that each parameter is separated by a comma. And so now if I hit return, I have the first name, space, last name all together. As before, I could click and hold and drag down to copy down the formula, but I'm just going to go da -da and copy it down. And just as before uh, in the split video, if I came in here and removed this information, it's going to remove that as well. So if I want to keep that list of names, I can copy and I can paste special values only. And now if I were to remove this, I still have my list of names. Now I can also do something similar by uh, putting these things in a different order. So if I wanted to do instead last name comma first name, I can put in this, put in a comma inside of those quotation marks, copy that down, and now I have my list as last name comma first name. And again, if I wanted to paste that over there, I can copy it. I can paste special values only, and now I have that as well. And this can be combined with other functions. You can nest functions inside of there. So you could throw in, um, if you just wanted the first initial, you could come in here and say, so instead of A1 there, maybe I only want the first initial, which is the first character on the left. So I could come in here and say, give me a left, give me one character. And so now I have, um, the first initial. And if I wanted a period after that first initial, I could actually come in here, add another parameter to my concatenate, and now I have last name comma first initial period. So there's a lot of magic here that can be done with these functions. Hope that saves you some time.